hello, hello, everyone. Happy Monday. How is everyone today? I hope you've all had a fantastic Monday. Today we're going to do something fun, as always. Say hello when you pop on. And while I'm waiting, I'll go ahead and pull it up on my iPad. See if I get a notification today. Guess we don't need to hear me twice. So I'll turn down the iPad. Well, I'm not, there it is. I found it, yay. <clears throat> Let me get my website posted here. Hi, Diana. How are you today? Monday. It's, I tell you, if I say anything silly today, it's because I'm just brain dead here. That today was such a taxing day at the office that, ugh, I'm just, whoops, I pinned the wrong comment. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Well, now it's not letting me do anything. Hi, Michelle. Well, my iPad is not letting me unpin Diane, Diana's post. Oh, Michelle, I'm just like wiped out. What a day it's been. My brain just is mush after today. But we're going to do something fun, and I'm sure by the time I'm done, I'll feel rejuvenated and won't be able to sleep tonight because I'll be all wound up. So, um, I hope everyone had a fantastic day today. And without further ado, let's get started with the fun stuff. Let me move this tank a little bit. Okay, so, hi, Sandra. Tonight, one of the things that I'm going to do, some composition notebooks, and I'm going to marble the edges of the pages. Now, I usually have um, clamps and a piece of wood across the edges, but I have to use a different tank for that. So I'm going to do a page and then I will uh, put the one end in holding it really tight together and then the other two. So you'll see how I do that. I was just working on something today at the office that just made my brain want to melt. And it, it took so much brain power. I didn't really know what I was doing. I kind of did just enough to have to read over everything 17 times to make sure I wasn't doing something boneheaded. But I got it drafted, and now we'll see see what uh, my boss says about it. So, so let me um, move this. Sorry, T-Rex arms. I have to get really close. There we go. Hi, Betty Mae. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm going to do paper and then I'm going to coordinate the edges of the page. <clears throat> Pardon me. With the, um, with the, uh, whatever I'm trying to say, with the paper. That's, this is the way it's going to be most of the night, guys. I am so sorry. I'm going to forget my tra train of thought, and it's just going to be a little bit chaos. I just literally was like, ugh, all the way home. All right, so let's get going. Let me clear this. Clear the tank before I start. I have, I'm going to be making, um, a hat and a visor tonight for, um, a donation. And of course, one of the things I wanted to do was, one, I wanted to do the hat in our local, um, University colors, which is Boise State University, orange and blue. And of course, the correct orange that I need, I'm out of. Of course. So we're going to go all a different direction. But first, I'm going to use these colors and do two sheets of paper and the edges of a book. So let me, oh, I've got it right here. So tell me what things you did that was fun this weekend. I had a really busy weekend. We um, did our errands and stuff on Saturday. And I worked on the project that I can't show you yet. And then on Sunday I got up and I put a second coat of paint on the garage doors. I have just two rows left to finish the second coat on, but I was out of paint in my tray and the sun was almost there, so I stopped. Hi, Kathy. And then I came in and I finished my project that I can't show you. And I started prepping for today. Did the laundry, prepped dinner for the week, all that kind of fun stuff. And so by the time it was bedtime last night, I was tired. I felt like I shouldn't be, but I kept myself busy all day long. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put in a little bit more blue. Oh, dang it, I could have used I think we'll do this one, the hat, because I can use metallic on paper. I always forget that. So I think we'll just freeform this. I got a photograph from um, Jenny Sanchez today. The visor arrived and her daughter promptly took possession of it. So I got a very cute photo of her daughter wearing the, the visor I sent out last week. All right, let's see. Where to put the hats? So they're over there. Let me grab some bags. I'm going to do a visor and two hats tonight. I know one of the, um, one of the, probably one hat and one visor, the visor will be, um, <clears throat> blues. 
Because that's a good, I thought those would be good um, just for my shop. But I'll, I'll, I'm, this hat that I'm doing now and the visor will be giveaways. Let's see, and I want... Now maybe I want this one over here. All right, here we go. So that turned out pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, now I've got my my measuring cup that I scoop it out with sitting over here in the way. Rinsing my hands off and getting some of that blue off. All right. That looks pretty nice. Let me get a bag. All right, there's one. Let's get this cleaned up, and then I'll do the paper. And use this metallic silver. Thank you, Michelle. Let's see if uh, oh, the iPad just does not like it like me today. Hi, Juanita. Hi, Linda. Hi, Margaret. <clears throat> Sorry if I miss you when you pop on. All right, let's get this cleaned up. And then we'll do paper where I can use the metallic silver. Oh, that's so fun. I always forget because I can, I mostly do cloth. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, so when I do paper, it never, it doesn't dawn on me at first. I suppose I should introduce myself if you are new. My name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk LLC. I am a water marbling artist, and that's what you just saw me do on that hat. I marbled it. You float acrylic paint on the surface of the water. You move the paint around, and then you print the design you create on paper, leather, wood, cloth glass, acrylic, all kinds of stuff. So there's just, there's a little bit right here. I'm not going to worry about it because we're using the same colors. <clears throat> Let me grab the silver. And I'll put the light gray back so I don't accidentally use it. Okay. So we'll put a little bit of white in here. And then I'm going to put in a bunch of silver. Now the silver is going to get pushed out of the way, so I will do more. I just wanted to get it in here in case um, it doesn't want to float on the blue or the green. Okay. And see, this is just the color, the little dots in there, that's just the color um, dispersing. Hi, Marilyn. It's weird that it won't let me unpin that comment. You're the star today, Diana. And if you wouldn't mind sprinkling out this video, I would greatly appreciate it. 
And if you're so inclined to send, send stars, that's just a tip that will help me defray some of the costs of the giveaways and shipping. So I'm just waiting until the silver completely disperses. Exercise in patience. And you can see there was a little bit of that blue on the side of the tank and it is bleeding in, but it's no big deal because I'm using the same colors. If I was using a different color, I would make sure all of that color was out of here. Okay, just a few more left. It's like when you put in, um, thank you, Kathy, when you put like a, a bath bomb or something, you can just see it fizzling. I, that's what I call it, fizzling. It's just spreading out, dispersing. So I have four more centers that need to finish. Hi, Joyce. Hopefully the internet's going to work. I saw a lot of people today. I got notifications that a lot of people kept going live numerous times. So that generally tells me that <clears throat> everything was not going well. Hi, Cindy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, one more there. We, we're ready to go now. There's the blue. Let's get the green in there. So silver, blue, and green. Let's put some more blue in there. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. Okay. So now we're going to do my favorite design with this one. Oh, I wish you could all feel this. It's wonderful. Just what I needed after a long Monday. It went really quickly, if that's any consolation, but ugh. All right, there we go. that part of it. <clears throat> oh, so I probably need that one more time. And you know I cannot leave it like this, so we have to do a swoosh through it. I just, I just can't leave it alone. Okay, so I want a sheet of paper. And while the paper is still in there, ordinarily I have pieces of wood clamped over here, but it won't fit in my tank. So what I'm going to do, if I can get it, uh, 
destroy this tank is just almost too little. See, and I missed it right there. And you just touch the edges to the page. And then I'm gonna go put this down. what I usually do with those things. <clears throat> I think I'm usually doing them outside. So let's get the piece of paper off of here. Now, as you know, I've got to gently rinse this. Oh, and I didn't bring my other container in. All right, this isn't going to work without my other container. I'll be right back. I need to go rinse it. down it turned out really pretty that blue really wants to rinse off it's heavily pigmented which is usually what happens um, with a heavily pigmented color it's still nice and bright but there appeared to be a lot of excess so it took me a minute to get it I don't want it to run on the paper and dry so I tried to rinse it enough so now I need to do another sheet like that. And then we'll be done with this colorway. Help me decide what I want to give, um, what color I should do the visor in for the um, donation.
Anybody have any ideas about that? I need one more. One more of this blue and silver and green, and then we'll move on to the visor. See that blue? This is kind of like a red. It doesn't, doesn't want to come out of the tank, which is okay for this one because it's still going to be green and blue. Oh, well, welcome. Who's the first up? Ellen, first time watching from Alabama. Welcome, Ellen. I'm Linda. I'm the owner of Aqueous Silk, LLC, and this is water marbling, floating paint on the surface of the water. I have done a hat and a piece of paper, the edges of a notebook tonight. And I'm just cleaning the tank. So now we're going to get a paper towel. We all know I can't function without a paper towel in hand. And I've got bubbles all over. Bubbles are not our friends when we are marbling. And they're very hard to pop. I'm using acrylic paint again I'm not going to put a lot of white in I want a lot of silver that piece of I can't use silver on a cloth or I can't use the metallic I'd have to use gray as much as I hate the fact that I can't use it on cloth Believe me, I've tried numerous times, but it just never, it's like there's nothing there. No shimmer, nothing. Okay, so we have to wait for this to con uh, completely disperse. No bubbles, that's right. Hello, Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry, Tammy. Stay safe. I don't really have a good mob either. I'm thinking the visor may be, by, um, be worn by a lady who, uh, whoops, we're not done yet. I have a few more still, who may be a golfer. Hi, Val. So that's kind of why I'm just kind of going want to go maybe with some blues I thought maybe a blue and a lavender would be okay that'll get me the blue people and the lavender people or purple people so I've got four left here there's one here here back here and over here still spreading out now we're down to three Which one's going to end first? I think it's, oh, this one. Okay, we're ready. Now the green. A little bit more of the blue. And this has to be the same design so it matches the other sheet of paper. So I get to do my favorite one again. Oh, this is so fun. All right, there we 
there's that part. My hands are a mess already. I have to watch this very carefully because I don't want to, you can see I've drug this whole piece in the water and you don't want to do that because that messes up your design. And if you can see this big, the bigger piece right here, that's because I have a tooth missing right here. The pin fell out. I haven't replaced it yet. And I have one here, here, and here as well. So I need to really fix that. You know, the only time I ever remember about it is when I'm using it. So, as soon as I pick it up, I'll go, oh yeah, I forgot to do that again. So we're just going to comb through that one more time to swirl it and get the paper. excess of that blue on there and the silver as well so let me I'm just going to go directly to the other room and rinse it I will be right back are so pretty. I can't wait to see them dry. Okay. Now this time we have to make sure we clean the tank completely. So have we come up for, with any good ideas that I can do for the visor? Oh, I bought um, a new paint this weekend. It's an actual um, Welcome Tees Creations and Designs. Um, it's an actual purple, not violet, it's purple. I finally found a purple. I like to use golden paints. Again, it's highly saturated in color, so it might give me fits. But when I saw it, and it was so expensive for one little bottle, because it's highly saturated. All right. 
to get those bubbles out of there. Anybody have any good ideas for what I am envisioning as a golf visor? I don't know if there are restrictions on how uh, bold of a color scheme you can have on golf courses or not. I don't golf. I have once in my life and it was just not fun. I'm not good at it and it was very frustrating. But I've only done it once also. Welcome Nancy Ripley. Hi, hey, there's my young, my oldest daughter who just got back from Costa Rica. Hey, Dara. Oh, got a hair in my mouth. Sorry. Hello, Kathy. Who else am I missing here? Hi, Karen. Welcome, everyone. My name is Linda Anderson. I'm a water marbling artist. So, I think we are going to... No color co combos? <laughs> Not the red, white, and blue I want to see, Dara. Let's see. Why don't we do... Oh, I'm almost out of this one. my colors. There it is. Why don't we do a favorite standby of mine? Oh, well, I can't really ombre it. Well, I guess I could have, could kind of. We could try. Let's try that for a different one. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. For this one, let's just go with teals. Should I throw in a little bit of blue or just use it with teals? And I'm going to use the gray, the darker gray. And, of course, white. Let me get the metallic put back in the corner so I only use it when I'm using something that'll stick to. I have done like stripes of color, kind of. They don't really work very well and then um, done this in between them. But let's try that for another add blue. Okay. Hi Bridget. Is this a good blue? I think that works fairly well. All right, let's start with some white. Oops, before I get started, I see a dot of that other blue right here. So you can just barely see it on the edge of the paper towel. I don't think that would have really mattered with this blue. Hey Angie Skinner, how are you, friend? Okay, get some white in there. I can still see the metallic from the silver floating in the water. It will not come out on the hat or on the visor. These are acrylic paints floating on the surface of the water. And I always tend to use, go um, dark to light for no specific reason. It, other than it makes sense to me. 
Okay. Now let's use the gray. Those two colors look really good together. I can't get the top off. There we go. Look how strong that gray is. Pushing those other colors out of the way. just a touch more of this darker teal. All right, there we go. So now the question is, should I freeform or should I comb it? For my more experienced uh, friends, should I freeform this or comb it? Do I have anyone that cares which way it's done? I'm not seeing any comments at all. Freeform? Okay, there's one, Betty. I see it. Hi Madison, comb, there's one of each, free, there are two free forms. Another free form, okay. We'll free form this one. Hi Janice. See, this is just going to have some accents of that blue. I'm going to try to pull some of that in from the edges. I really like this spot right here. All right, I think we're going to leave it like that. Now this one is just the visor. All the visors and the hats have Velcro, close, Velcro close, hook and loop closing on the back. So they are adjustable. And then it's just a visor. So I think I'm gonna try to get I think I'm going to try right here. It almost made a little heart up here at the top. So I have just a little accents of that blue. That turned out pretty. I think I say that every time. So now I, I didn't move my board before I started here. pretty. I'll get it in the bag and then I'll hold it up again. So 
hopefully you can see that. Get that moved over. And let's clean the tank one more time. And I just use newsprint to pull off the excess paint. The only time in my life I like newsprint. So now I have another composition notebook to do. And then we'll do a hat. Let's see, what color should I do for the composition notebook? to get all of that paint that's resting on the sides of the tank out into the uh, out into the tank because I can just kind of mix it in unless it's floating right on the surface the paint will not impact my design and every time I clean the tank I pull out more um, water got to dry my hands and then I'll there's a bunch right in here that's coming out onto the surface Silly bubbles. All right, what should we use um, for the next composition notebook? Anyone have ideas? Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Val. Okay, let's see. Look at this. Oh no, they're not the same color. Let's see. Do I have any any suggestions? Purple, pink, and yellow. I was thinking about purple. This this is more of a violet. Pink. And let me get a pink. So these, is that good with everyone? Hello, Patricia. Of course, with white. Okay, I'm going to move some of these towards the back.
Let's see, I'm going to need the board. All right, I think I'm organized for this one. Let's see, where's my other? It's right there. Okay, we're good. We're ready to go. Just about do, uh, drop the uh, lid into the water. Would not have been the first time. We've actually dropped the whole bottle in the design before and had to start over. All right, so I have a little problem here. I see a thin line of that blue. So I got that out of there. This is not the blues project this time. Okay, so let's do some yellow. And we've got a bubble. And then the pink. I wonder if I should have done yellow first, then purple, then pink. Oops. No squeezing the bottle. Somebody get after me. Breaking my own rules. I'm going to put in just a little bit more of the purple. There we go. Just needed a little bit. So now free form or comb. That was a little bit of dried paint that I just fished out. Anybody have an opinion on free form or comb? Comb, there's one comb. Freeform, oh, we have a tie. Who's gonna be the tiebreaker? Oh, there's another freeform. Oh, now we're tied again. <laughs> comb, okay, we're still, we're staying tied. Freeform, okay. All right, we're going to freeform this one. Comb and leave it. Oh, I could do that, too. So now we're tied again. All right, let's comb and leave it. No swirl in it. I do a lot. We'll freeform on the hat. So I'm just taking this and going back and forth. You don't want to move too fast because bubbles are not our friend. I'm, I think I'm glad that we're going to comb this one. You know how hard it is going to be for me to leave it, though? Because, um, there's another little bit of paint, a little bit of dried paint. When I comb it, this big thing here, glob, will go away. All right, here we go. Now, if anybody noticed, I, there was this one pin down here I did not have in the water. Can you tell the design right there? So I'm going to make sure that I work this side a little more with the piece of paper. 
I need to make sure my hands are completely dry. All right, now I'm gonna take my composition notebook I'm going to try to get it all in this time and not miss anything. Okay, turn it. Got it. Now the bottom. All right, I did it. Just got the edges. So let me go put this down in the other room. Now when that dries, you're probably wondering um, if it's stiff, and the answer is yes. But all I have to do is take it and fan it like that, and it's back to normal. All right, let's get this sheet out. So can you tell the difference between this one and that blue that was running all over the place? This one's going to rinse much quicker than the other one. So I'll be right back. Let me take a towel. Right off a little bit. It's dripping on the floor. So let's clean this up and do the next one. So if you have not yet sprinkled out and you like what you have seen today, go ahead and sprinkle that out to your friends and see if they might like it as well. I'm trying to grow my business. I offer um, my primary one of my, I have offer kits to do what I'm doing here. Gives you all instructions and the supplies. I do offer a baby gift box that's all custom marble, a receiving blanket, a sleep sack, um, a burp cloth, a little bodysuit, and sneakers. And then uh, a mug for mommy and daddy. So if you're interested in that, you can head over to my, 
My website was supposed to be um, pinned at the bottom, but I pinned the wrong pin today, and it won't let me unpin it, so. But it's aqueousilk.com. I offer the kit. I offer some of the supplies if you run out, so you can continue having a good time. Okay, so one more sheet like this, and then we'll do the hat. And on my hats and visors, I do add bling to some of them, like the one I am wearing tonight that you may or may not have seen when I'm down here like this. Okay, now we have to comb this, but not swirl, just like we did the other one, because it has to match somewhat. I guess it would be kind of fun to do the front cover one way and the back cover another. I'll, I use all the different patterns, um, my primary patterns, in the, I call it the bean box, that's the baby gift box. So each item is marbled a different way. No squeezing the bottle. I did not break my own rule that time. And now I'll just put in a few more drops of the purple. See, and if you watch, they will expand and then they will contract. The other colors start pushing back. It's like uh, your children when they're pushing on one another. One pushes first and the other one pushes back. Hi, Cherry. This is so fun. There's a little bit of resistance against the tool, and it's just so calming. All right, now the comb. There we go. What was that? I think it would be nice like that, add well. I can just not move the paint at all once it, and just use it as it falls on the surface. That's called a stone pattern. I prefer to splatter it on though. And I never splatter when I'm in the house. I tend to make a big enough mess without even throwing paint around. All right, let me get that other sheet of paper. Ooh, I just saw a cool color combination that I know I like. All right. Did I just leave it? Is that what I did? Just combed it and left it? I don't have any edges to do. They're already done. The paper I'm using is, yeah, I can do that, Juanita. I actually do on the receiving blankets that I make. They're all done with a stone pattern. But I'm able to splatter it so you get very random um, splatter sizes. It feels a lot more random. If I was outside, I would splatter this. Hey, Joni, are you melting down there? It was 
was 109 here when I, on my truck on the freeway, so I'm sure the air temperature was not quite that hot. So let me run and rinse this and get it hung up. I better take a towel with me. So that's hanging up. It looks so nice. Okay, newsprint. What do I need next? Newsprint. So we have one more hat to do tonight. Shelly, are you here tonight? Shelly asked me to do try to do some uh, car coasters, and I do have them. I just need to prep them. I haven't had a chance to prep them yet. So as you can see, I go through a lot of newsprint. When I use my um, scarf tank that's 80 inches long, it takes several sheets of paper to get it clear and ready for the next, full sheets of paper, ready for the next item. And you can reuse the water several times. I've used this for a couple weeks. I had it at market. Not this past weekend. I didn't do market this past weekend. I had a weekend off. But we'll be there again uh, this coming weekend. We have a local Saturday market that we attend. Generally every other week. All right, now I just have to get rid of bubbles. And if you're wanting to see how I... Um, I marbled fabric for tumblers the other last Monday, and I will be putting that on one or two tumblers this coming Thursday on craft night. See, those things just don't like to pop. But if you leave them on the surface, when you put your item in the tank, then it pops when the fabric touches it, and there's like a little a void. And before we leave, I'll show you the, um, the vase that I paint poured last Thursday. I believe it is dry enough to handle carefully. I have not touched it yet. I did move the um, painting. All right, so I want to do just um, some blue on this one. I think we'll just use these these simple blues here. Need a paper towel. If you're new, I cannot marble without a paper towel in my hand. 
Don't know why, it's just the way it is for me. This is all about surface tension. The colors um, push against one another. That's why you see me usually add white to start with. You could literally add any color, but since the items are white, I um, just generally start with that. And this is a light indigo, kind of like a chambray color, but the indigo has a ton of purple in it. So you really get the purpley hue to it. I'm gonna put in just a little bit more of this. This is cerulean blue. Okay, we will freeform this one. Again, we could leave it just like this. And I will probably, where you see the white, I will probably take and bling the, that part of the hat. Just some of it, not all of it. Some of it in front. The idea is just to move the paint around until you have it the way, looking the way you like it. So there's really no right and no wrong. There are some very traditional um, patterns for marbling, but that doesn't mean that's the way you have to do it. And then I generally locate the spot I like the best on the water and that's where I put the front of the hat. So I kind of like this right here. Do I have any suggestions for the front? Away from me, towards me, iPad side, this is really cool. I like this spot for the, the bill or right here. And the light is right in that one kind of a little bit. See if that helps. Yeah, I kind of like this little swirl right there. Oh yeah, 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 I could do that too. That's called the whale's tail. Remind me next time and I'll do a whale's tail. So I think we'll go with this. Let me get the hat. iPad side. So you like that right there, Margie? I can do that. All right, here we go. So this one will probably get bling up this, this swirl and over to here. So that's probably going to be my bling line. Yeah, that one turned out nice as well. All of 
of these will get rinsed one more time and then I'll hang them. I have an additional curtain rod, shower curtain rod across the center of my um, guest bathtub. You can tell we never get guests. And um, I hang them, I un uh, hook and loop them and then secure it around the rod and just let them dry after it's rinsed one more time. That one it will go. Um, that one will go in my store. All right, let me bring you up. Look at that mess I have to clean now. That blue is not going to come out of there easily. I can tell. So hello, hello again. Thank you, Michelle. Who else? Thank you, Diana, Margie. Thank you, everyone. I so appreciate your time tonight. And don't forget, if don't remember, don't forget to join me on Thursday night and we'll be cutting and applying the um, fabric to the tumbler. So that'll be fun and you'll get to see the fabrics I did last week if you missed it. And then I have something fun I want to try next week. So we're, we're on schedule to do lots of fun stuff. So I hope you enjoyed tonight. And I hope you'll join me on Thursday for craft night. And between now and then, have a wonderful week. If you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you anything. And it makes you feel very, very, very happy. And it might just make their day. So take care, everyone. Thank you for joining, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.